Victor Lustig, also known as the Count. He uh, sold the Eiffel Tower twice in the 1920s. Today this may seem odd, but uh, back then the Eiffel Tower was only meant to be a temporary attraction. It was only supposed to be there for three to five years and then be torn down. So uh, after reading this in the paper, Victor, ever the entrepreneur, uh, decided to uh, fake some government documents and approach some individuals, some tourists, saying that the government was going to sell the Eiffel Tower to the highest bidder and they could then tear it down for the scrap metal and make a fortune. This is the first time he went to his villa and uh, once he saw in the papers that the man did not report him, Victor came back to France to pull the scam over again, only this time it didn't work out so well. So Victor fled to America. He started counterfeiting money. Uh, most namely, he conned Al Capone in a $21,000 stock scam. He later returned all the money that Al Capone invested in the company. Al Capone, he was aghast at the, being a stand-up gentleman. Victor, $1,000, which Victor later said was really all that he was after. There was a Secret Service Task Force that was charged with just catching him, Victor, for counterfeiting money at the time. Uh, they caught him because of a lover's jealous rage. She told the Secret Service where he would be. The Secret Service later commented that he was the coolest and the uh, most reserved con man that they have ever seen. He escaped his prison cell, 20, and 27 days later, he was found again and he ended up dying in jail in uh, Springfield, Missouri. Victor in the con world is also best known for the Ten Commandments of being a con man. The first commandment of which is be a patient listener. The second, never look bored. The third is wait for the mark to reveal any political opinion and instantly agree with that opinion. Number four, wait for the mark to tell you his religious beliefs and then also share them beliefs. Number five, hint at sex talk, but never be the initiator. Number six, never discuss illness unless special concern is shown. Never pry into a mark's personal life. They will tell you all you need to know eventually. Never boast. Let your importance be quite obvious. Number nine, never be untidy. Number ten, never get drunk. I would also add uh, a little to these. I mean, uh, every con man is going to have their own special twists to each one of these rules. Mine is, I particularly like to... Uh, it's not mentioned here except for to have the same political opinion and religious views as the mark. I also uh, find it very helpful uh, to mimic the mark's uh, motions, emotions, and physical movements. Subconsciously, the mark will begin to think of you as just another stand-up individual. I mean, uh, he sees himself, nobody sees himself as a villain, everybody sees himself in a positive light. So doing all these moments, these movements and reacting to their movements and everything like that, the, the Mark begins to see himself in you and there's a certain camaraderie there that is undeniable.